small gaming laptops are a double-edged sword. On one hand, you get a lot of performance in a portable form factor. On the other hand, can you truly enjoy all of it on a small 14-inch screen? However, there's definitely a use case for the Blade 14, equipped with a Ryzen 9 6900HX and up to an RTX 3080 Ti. Razer manages to stuff all of that hardware inside the Blade 14 while maintaining a weight of 1.78 kg and a thickness of 16.8 mm, which is totally insane. The device is entirely made from aluminum and the quality can be felt. The base is immovable, while the lid shows some flex only after you apply an inhumane amount of force to it. Despite the smaller size, the base still houses a front-firing speaker setup as well as a competent keyboard. Similar to the Blade 15, the key travel is a bit short, while the feedback is clicky, which is far from ideal for gaming. The touchpad is definitely the better of the two, as its glass surface is incredibly smooth. The input-output is really evenly split between the left and right, with both getting one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 2 and one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port. The left side keeps the power plug and audio jack, while the right gets an HDMI 2.1 port. Both Type-C ports can be used for charging as well as connecting to an external display. However, the display on the Blade 14 is pretty good by itself, with a QHD resolution and a 165Hz refresh rate. It's a great panel, with a fast 13 milliseconds response time, and 380 nits of brightness, which is good enough even for outdoor use, as well as 100% sRGB and 98% DCI P3 coverage. Paired with our design and gaming profile, we managed to calibrate the display to a Delta E value of 0.8 in the DCI P3 gamut, which is great if you want to use the device for any type of design or color grading. We'll leave links to our profiles in the description below. The front firing speakers definitely pull their weight, producing clean and loud audio with no significant deviations in the lows, mids, or high frequencies. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Ryzen 9 6900HX puts all of its 8 cores on blast, outperforming the Zephyrus G14 from Asus and its Ryzen 7 6800HS, which is to be expected. For the graphics, we tested an RTX 3070 Ti with a 100 watts TGP. It blows the RX 6700S of the Zephyrus straight out of the water in all benchmarks that we ran. As for putting it against the bigger Blade 15, the Core i7-12800H inside it provides more CPU performance, however, the GPUs are evenly matched. This cave looks like it's usually underwater. Similar to the Blade 15, the smaller Blade 14 also uses a vapor chamber with two fans. Compared to the only other laptop with a Ryzen 9 6900HX, the Blade 14 runs its CPU at higher TDPs and clock speeds without any significant temperature increases. As for the GPU, the 3070 Ti runs at slightly lower clock speeds and TGPs than the one inside the Blade 15, which is expected. All of this performance means a high level of noise, while the base reaches 47 degrees Celsius after 30 minutes under full load. The efficiency of the laptop is also put under question, as the 61.6 Watt hours battery lasts 7 hours and 9 minutes of web browsing, or 4 hours and 52 minutes of video playback, which is with the screen set to 60 Hz and the brightness at 120 nits, so in heavier use, you can expect worse results. All we say is, you better bring the charger with you.
Unfortunately, the laptop doesn't have very good upgradeability, offering up to 16GB of soldered DDR5 memory and only one M.2 slot for generation for SSDs. We'll leave our teardown video down below, however, there's not much to do inside the Blade 14. The Razer Blade 14 makes some sacrifices in order to deliver as much performance as possible, so you have to keep that in mind if you want to buy it. For a more balanced laptop experience, the Zephyrus G14 is an amazing device, which brings better battery life and a better keyboard, however, its CPU and GPU do lack power when compared to the Blade 14. For more information about the Razer Blade 14, check out the review on our website, the link is below.